Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're in 1 Samuel chapter 29, and today, verses 6 to 11, David was with the Philistines. The Philistine Lord said, no, you can't come up to battle with us. Ashish, king of Gath, has to break it to David. Let's see what happens. Then Ashish called David and said to him, surely as the Lord lives, you have been upright and you're going out and you're coming in with me and the army is good in my sight. For to this day, I have not found evil on you since the day of your coming to me. Nevertheless, the Lords do not favor you. Therefore, return now and go in peace that you may not displease the Lords of the Philistines. So David said to Achish, but what have I done? And to this day, what have you found in your servant as long as I have been with you, that I may not go and fight against the enemies of my lord the king? Then Achish answered and said to David, I know that you are as good in my sight as an angel of God. Nevertheless, the princes of the Philistines have said he shall not go up with us to the battle. Now, therefore, rise early in the morning with your master's servants who have come with you. And as soon as you are up early in the morning and have light, depart. So David and his men rose early to depart in the morning to return to the land of the Philistines. And the Philistines went up to Jezreel. So, yeah, they're going back. The Philistines are on the edge of the border here uh, with Israel, and they're going to invade Israel. David is sent away. So, we've, we've seen before, David wasn't exactly raiding where he told King Achish he was raiding, was he? But uh, Achish doesn't understand that. Achish is trusting David. So, Achish says, you know, I haven't found any problem with you, but I have to send you away because I've basically just been overruled by the the top body, the, the five lords of the Philistines, four of them said no. So you have to go. So David has to go, and uh, David kind of plays it up a little bit. He's kind of hamming it up here. Well, what about I haven't done anything wrong, right? But anyway, David and his men go away. So there you have Achish is fooled. David is now going to be out of the battle. That kind of solves that problem. And David, this is coming to a break point where there's going to be a big change here for David. But uh, we're still coming to that. So again, we have God's providential intervention. This thing that David did by going to the Philistines, I kind of questioned it before, didn't you? Is this is this really what God wants for David, for him to go over and spend a year and a half over in the Philistine territory? Mm, kind of hard to, hard to imagine that. But God's ways are bigger than your ways and mine. But anyway, at this point, God has removed David from this battle. And it's kind of a good thing, isn't it? If, God is, if David is God's agent, then... How could he possibly fight on the side of the Philistines? Well, if Saul's against David, how could David possibly fight on the side of Israel? So David's going to sit this one out, and that is what God is doing. So David's kind of still playing this double game thing, but uh, he's going to be out of the battle. You know, we sometimes have an inclination. We want to be in the fight some which way we want to be in the battle. And sometimes God will pick one of us out and say, Hey, you, you're out of this one. You're out of this fight. You're on the bench. You go to the, you go out of the battle. And David's going to, this is what God is doing with David. He's sending him off to the showers here. The battle is the Lord's. It's not yours. It's not mine. If he calls us into the battle, then we do the battle. If he calls us out of the battle, we step out of the battle. He knows what he's doing. And sometimes we just want to rush ahead and be involved in some which way. David is out of this one, and it's going to be good for David. Good for Israel. It's going to be kind of rough for everybody else. Well, hey, let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, Uh, You are on your throne. You're working providentially. Sometimes your champions stand on the sidelines. May we be enough on your side that we're useful to you. And sometimes you'll say to us, this isn't your fight. Uh, Help us to be obedient when we understand that to be the case. Now, Lord, we pray you'll watch over your people and you'll bring them good, even though along the way you may chasten them. Now, we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. God be with you today and bless you in all that you do.